Hi everyone, it's Lynn from Contenta Crafts. Welcome, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be making this pretty gift box using the envelope punch board. Um, I'm calling mine um, my chocolate treat box because inside I've filled it with some of my favourite chocolate twirls. Uh, it's a really, really pretty box and it would be perfect to give as a birthday or a thank you gift or just to let someone know you are thinking about them. As it happens, today the box that I'm making is also filled with twirls, is going to a friend of mine who's feeling a little bit under the weather and I know she loves twirls with a cup of coffee. So it'll be a lovely surprise and I'm sure it will cheer her up. I think, to be honest, it would also look great filled with um, a lovely scarf in there or maybe some craft goodies or um, you could pop your favourite chocolate bars inside. Um, so this is how it looks at the front with the belly band. So if we slide this along, this just pops off and then you will see that the box opens up at the back and there inside are my twirls um, it's a very very inexpensive gift to make it cost me two pound to buy the twirls but i just think by popping them into the box that it makes the gift look a little bit special and i absolutely love it um, the lovely card I'm using is from a Craft Sensations pad, which I will show you in a minute. But before we get into the tutorial, I will talk you through what we need. Uh, so first of all, you are going to need the envelope punch board. You will also need some a card of your choice and that piece of card will need to measure 10 and a quarter by 10 and a quarter inches for the box and then to make the band you will need one piece of card that will measure 12 by 2 inches also um you will need something to stick your box down so whether it be glue or double-sided tape um personally i prefer glue however if you were deciding on a tape i think i would recommend um the double sided red liner tape anyway it's really easy to do so let me show you how So this is the paper pad from Craft Sensations. I bought mine a little while ago from the works and I'm not sure if it is still available. However, I will check it out and if so, I will pop it in the link um, below. So like I said earlier, we will need a piece of card that measures 10 and a quarter by 10 and a quarter for the box. Um, and today I'm using this piece of card which is roses on the front side and plain on the on the back um, and we need to um, use score line four so we will line our card up with the measurements here at the top and make sure you do get it right into the little the little groove so to get started we will punch and score our first line then we need to turn our card 90 degrees counterclockwise now we ignore for the moment these measurements up at the top now 
as we need to line our first score line up with the score guide and we then punch and score our second line and again we will turn the card 90 degrees counterclockwise and we need to line up our second score line with the score guide and again just ignore these numbers at the top and we punch and score our next line then again we will turn it 90 degrees and line it, the line up with the score guide and punch and score and we do that all the way around lining it up the previous score line with the score guide and punch and score until we have been all the way around now then what we need to do next is get back to where we very first started our punching and scoring. So if you're unsure, maybe put a little mark and pencil um, so that we can rub it out at the end. So now what we need to do is, because I want an inch deep on my box I need to move my um, cord along to the five inch mark okay and here we will punch and score our next line and then again, we forget these measurements again at the top and we put the score line that we have just made up to the score guide and punch and score our second line. And again, lining that line up with the score guide, we punch and score until we have been all the way around the card and we should end up with something that looks like this so you should have your indentations two on all four sides okay and you will also have um, double lines all the way around the box. Now then, we have finished with the um, scoreboard. So what we now need to do is fold and burnish all of these score lines that we have just made and making them nice and crisp all the way around okay. so next so you should have something that looks like so okay so next what we need to do is these little tabs we should have four we're not going to cut them off we are just going to cut um down the tabs okay I just think by leaving them on, it gives the box a neater finish and a better, a better closure. We can, if there is a little bit like this little piece here, I don't know if you can see that there is a little wee piece.
piece that sticks out so I will just chop that little bit off to neaten it up. Um, seem to be on each piece so we'll just straighten those up. There we go. Right, so this is now what our box should be looking like. So what we need to do now is think about the sticking of it down. And just fold it in place there. Just make sure before we stick it down that everything is going to fit into place like so. Um, and we will get our glue. Today I'm using the Crafters Companion Kalal All Purpose Glue. I just think it gives a very good strong bond. So first of all, we are going to pop a little bit of glue on the tabs at the bottom. And then we are going to come along and up the side of the flaps on both sides. I find it better to put the glue onto these two flaps at the side rather than on the bigger flap at the bottom. I just find that if I popped it onto there, I might end up taking the glue that little bit too far. And this doing it this way at the, on the side pieces um you're just getting it in in the right place and we'll just pop that there like so and try and get our bottoms to bond there just take a couple of seconds there to grab a hold and then once We've got that there, like so. We can then come and be that little bit more pressure to give it a nice finish at the corners. And again, the same at this side, and get a nice bond on the corners. takes a couple of minutes to to get a good sort of hold Just checking both sides I've got a nice uh, corner like so that's what we're looking for nice finish there again on this one So that's how we should be looking. Like I say, a nice finish on the corners there. And these two flaps at the top, we don't need any glue there. They are just going to pop inside like so. And then this is where we bring our top flap over. And that's what we should have. So now we need to get our belly band and for this, so this piece should measure 12 inches by 2 inches and what we are going to do is um, 
wrap this around our box like so get that and we bring it around now what we want to do is try and just make a little mark where you need to pop a couple of score lines just roughly where it falls around the box like so and then with your scoring tool or your scoreboard we can score the lines on the box on the sorry on the um, band i'm just um going over my score lines on the scoreboard just to give it a better uh, finish or as they are a little bit uh thin to be honest um, I'm going to just do them on the scoreboard. So what we need to do now is bring our box back in and we've got our score lines. So we will just burnish those to make a nice crisp line. And on these two. Okay, then we will bring the band around the box, getting it into the middle. So your box should be looking something like this. So to finish it off and to keep the box closed, we need to stick something across the belly band. And I'm using this um, embellishment, which I feel is very appropriate um, with the tea or coffee pot and a cup with a tea or coffee bag and I just think that will look really really pretty over the middle of the band like so. So what we are going to do is um, I'm just popping a little bit of um, Crafters Companion tape runner across the top and the bottom of the embellishment. This is so um it doesn't stick to the box when we slide the band off just pop a little bit to the bottom and a little bit at the top now make sure you don't go too far across otherwise the glue or the tape that you use will then be stuck onto the box. You just need a little bit to the middle of the embellishment, like so. Okay, and there you can see that just slides off nice and easy. So there you have it, my chocolate treat box filled with Cadbury's twirls. I hope you've enjoyed it and thank you ever so much for joining me. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and please pop back for my next project. I will be back again very soon. Thanks for watching and bye for now.